It makes no sense to worry and think about something that is already over and done. And when we know that, we can do anything about it now. And this is why, today, God has sent this message for you to correct your ways. So listen to the message carefully now and correct your ways ahead. God says, look into your past. If you have made a mistake and you can't correct it now, then go ahead. But if you cannot do anything about it, except be sorry, then ask for forgiveness from God and anyone that has hurt you and don't worry about it any longer. Remember this, like everyone else, you will make mistakes. But after committing a sin or mistake, we should never get involved in something that produces nothing of any value. Also, we should not always put ourselves in a condition of self-doubt because of our mistakes. Rather, we must come to Lord Jesus and ask for His mercy over our sins and mistakes. So, repent and forget of your sins and all those past mistakes that are producing the feeling of guilt within your mind. Today, God wants to remove that feeling inside of you and this is why He sent His notice through this message to repent because this is the best way to get rid of all those feelings. Know that we are reminded to forget what is behind us and keep our eyes facing forward on God and His plans for us. He doesn't define us by our mistakes. He calls us His children. And you may find in the knowledge that God's compassion and kindness are new every morning and that His faithfulness is everlasting. He wants us to overcome the feeling of shame, guilt and regret of our mistakes and He has provided a beautiful way for that. But it is up to you whether you receive His gracious gifts of forgiveness, mercy and a new beginning or not. 1 John chapter 1 verse 9 says, if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Know that doing a mistake isn't an offense, but doing a mistake and repeating that in the future is what God never desires from His children. If you are a true follower and a true believer, you must have known that true repentance has only one meaning. Never commit that sin again. Look, God has made the way of repentance so that He could forgive His children. If His will wasn't to forgive us, then such a word of repentance wouldn't exist. He gives us chances, He gives us notices, He gives us warnings just to seek His forgiveness on time, not only because He needs it, but to bring you to self-realization that you are not here to be punished as Satan, but you are here to fulfill the desire of the Lord and remain in His joy. This is why He allowed the way of repentance to come into existence so that we may realize what we have done and get into an agreement with God to never repeat the same mistake. Know that 
Jesus has commanded each of us to love one another as God loves us. He has commanded us to forgive others as we want forgiveness from God. The message is clear. If you won't forgive others, God won't forgive you. God wants us to truly and deeply feel whatever we have done so that we would not do it to other people. He also wants us to never do the same with other people in our life that others have done with us. You might have been hurt by someone, but this doesn't mean you will take revenge and hurt others on purpose. No, this is exactly what Jesus has prohibited doing, being a true child of God. God knows, if we won't forgive others, our hurts will give birth to revengeful thoughts and ultimately, the people that we would hurt will hurt someone else and this process won't stop anywhere. He knew that if we will take the initiative of forgiving others, including those who have done wrong to us, then only we will do the will of our Father and we will break the chain of this revengeful process. This is why, dear believers, forgive others right now and let go of the feeling of taking revenge. If you will do the same, you will not only fulfill the will of God, rather you will allow Him to take charge and judge those people who did wrong to you. So, forgive others immediately, forgive others totally. Seek forgiveness for yourself of your past mistakes and let go of all the feelings of distress, anxiety, shame, guilt and revengeful thoughts. Receive your forgiveness from above and forget about those mistakes that pulls you away from God's purpose. Be reconciled in the love of God and you will be forgiven. Join me in prayer now to seek the forgiveness of God of our sins. My loving Heavenly Father, this is your faithful child seeking your forgiveness for all the sins I committed in the past, for all the mistakes I did in the past, for all the revengeful thoughts and actions I took for others, for not obeying your commandments to forgive others, for making you hurt through my actions. Lord, I have come truly today in repentance to seek your forgiveness, to seek your mercy. And grant me your wisdom to understand your messages and your notices always that you give me through many moods. Father, I understood whatever you wanted to deliver to me through this message and I promise that I will do exactly as your word says. I will also make other people understand the same by sharing this message in your name. Lord, please convict me of my sins. Let go of all the feelings of regret that are causing me to live in distress. Heal my heart and let your blessings flow in my life abundantly. In the powerful name of Jesus, I pray. Amen.